Hi, my name is Alexa Jackson. I work here at Wilson Diamonds. I'm the Senior Diamond Inventory and Appraisal Manager. My name is Emma. I am one of the inventory managers. Something interesting about my job and what I get to do every day when I come into work, I help our owner purchase all of the diamonds that we sell. The gist of our job is evaluating and sourcing diamonds and other gemstones for jewelry stores or for private buyers. And we sometimes look at hundreds of diamonds every day to be able to stock the stones that eventually people will wear in their rings and in their jewelry. My process in finding gemology and geology was a little bit beat around the bush. Originally, I wanted to be an elementary school teacher and I took a couple of classes and realized that it probably wasn't for me. I just decided to take a few geology classes and really enjoyed those and eventually geology became my major. I was able to take the diamond and gems class at BYU and loved that class and um, have been in the gem industry ever since. When I first got to BYU, I wanted to be a diplomat with the Foreign Service and then winter of 20 20, I took the Diamonds and Gems class at BYU and I loved the class and then I went and found a job here at Wilson Diamonds and loved it. It was the greatest thing ever and I decided that I wanted this to be way more than a hobby because I just felt too passionate about it. One of my favorite things about being a gemologist and working especially here at Wilson Diamonds is being able to look at gemstones and diamonds all day every day. I work in the inventory side of the store and so I I'm able to look at beautiful gemstones every day. My favorite style is probably my ring. I really like the sort of vintage looks or like the art deco. So I got a hexagon diamond to put in my ring and then I do have diamonds around the band, which is not as popular now, but I still think it looks really nice. And it it's sort of a modern twist on a classic. My personal favorite ring style is I like a round diamond. I think they're so pretty. And I like it on just a solitaire classic band. And I think that that's neat because you can stack it with different bands. And as the trends kind of change over time, you can mix and match different bands to the ring that you originally got. I think a lot of people, when they hear that I work in the industry, they automatically assume that I sell engagement rings when you can do all kinds of things. Advice that I would give anybody who's aspiring to become a gemologist is just, first of all, take diamonds and gems. That's like the best intro into the field. If you want to become a gemologist, I would also recommend just going to a local jewelry store, take your resume and see if they have any positions available so that you can become familiar with the industry. What I do every day, I learn from my boss Shane who is a gemologist as well and he teaches me all of the different things about the industry and about stone specifically so a lot of it is just like practical training. I think a lot of people when they hear that I work in the industry they automatically assume that I sell engagement rings when you can do all kinds of things. We actually have um, more than a handful of students who have gone on to either uh, go apply to GIA and uh, start on their graduate gemology degree or go work at various jewelry stores that are around the campus. While they're still here getting their undergraduate education, they are working towards creating their careers by working for these various jewelry stores um, and finding out that there is so much more than we can teach in just a one semester class, but finding a lot of joy in being able to relate the things that we talked about to the things that they're actually doing in their profession.